In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus KBr, silver nitrate plus potassium bromide. With net ionic equations, the first thing we do is balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation, and it's already balanced. So next, we can look at the states, write the states for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. So we write Aq. This will dissolve in water, split apart into its ions. Potassium bromide, potassium compounds, very soluble, write Aq. Here's another nitrate, potassium nitrate, Aq. But silver bromide, you have to be careful with silver compounds. Things like silver bromide, silver chloride, silver iodide, all those halogens, they are insoluble. They won't dissolve in water, or at least very, very small amount. Because of that, we write S. They're going to be a solid. So when we have this reaction here, we'll have a solid fall to the bottom as a precipitate. Once we've got the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. So silver, that has a 1 plus charge. And the nitrate, that's always 1 minus. Great one to remember. So we'll have Ag plus, and I'll write aqueous at the end. I won't do that now. Plus the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. Potassium's in group 1, has a positive charge. This bromide ion, that'll be negative. So we have K plus. And then the bromide ion, Br minus. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. We have our potassium ion again, and then we also have our nitrate ion. The AgBr, since that's a solid, we do not split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we're just going to leave that as AgBr. And that'll be our complete ionic equation. At this point, we're going to cross out what are called spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They really haven't changed, so we're not interested in those. In the reactants, I see a nitrate ion. Products, I see a nitrate ion. Let's get rid of that. Potassium ion, potassium ion, cross it out. And what remains is the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus KBr. I'll clean this up, write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus potassium bromide. You'll notice that we have a positive and a negative. Those cancel out. We have a neutral compound here. And then we have silver, silver, bromine, bromine. So it's also balanced that way as well. That's it. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus KBr. Thanks for watching.